working on a new project. This one is going to be a backbone chassis, which means it has a primary backbone and then the wheels are attached to that backbone, the front and back. And here are several different ideas. This would be like a specific box for the batteries, so I'd like to put the batteries inside the backbone. This is set up like a basic clothesline pole, just like a four inch round tube has the backbone, then a front axle and rear axle welded to it. Doesn't seem that strong. And then here would be going with like a square tube type idea, and then possibly A frames on the front, and maybe even a wishbone type in the rear. Here's some more ideas and details I was working on for our backbone chassis idea. If we went with the standard straight backbone, you'd have to add some type of bracing for the front and the rear. And also it seems like it still have quite a bit of a twist to it with just that tube. It also could do like a, a wishbone, like I said, in the rear. And then you add some bracing in the front. Or this would be like a double wishbone. That way it could absorb some of the impact. And then the double wishbone would be even kind of a 3D type style. Or While researching for this project, I also come up with or come across this X-frame chassis idea. It's basically a backbone constructed. And then it's basically like an X or like the double wishbone style. But then if you hit a, a bump or something, it would send a lot of the energy through the frame rather than just a straight across here taking all the impact. It would help to dissipate the impact energy. Another thing you have to keep in mind is the balance and even the symmetry of a cart. In this concept we would have the motor and the wheels in the back which would represent a little over 50 pounds. The operator which we're going to go with 150 pounds in the middle. Then you'd have the battery spread out along in front of the operator and then the front wheels which would be around another 50 pounds. So we got 50 pounds in the rear, 150 pounds in the front or in the middle and then 50 pounds in the front. So that's pretty well balanced out. And as an example this is how the Ariba cart is set up. It has the motor and the batteries in the back. So you got over 100 pounds just in, just in the back behind the, the operator. And the operator is our 150 pounds. And then in the front, you've only got like 20 or 30 pounds of whatever's left of the frame and front wheels. So this one, when you get on it, the front wheels lift up a bit. So it's not balanced too awful well. And then going back to our backbone concept idea, we even got it from a top view. And our batteries will be, like I said, inside the backbone. The operator will be centered over the backbone. You have your rear axle housing, or rear axle, and then your front axle. And then we may need to do some bracing depending on what type of materials we use. So basically here is what we're going to work with, or what I'm going to make. I'm going to use 2 inch by 6 inch rectangular tube. It's got an 8 one eighth inch thick wall or about 11 gauge. I thought about using 4x4 four four square tubing but the batteries are about 4 inches wide and they wouldn't fit inside the tube. So and I think this will even work out better because the batteries being 4 inches wide but the tube being 6 inches wide will still have about an inch wrap around to help maintain strength of the backbone. We'll have the front axle probably going through the backbone itself and then our rear axle housing will be welded to the backbone. And here's the side view where the batteries will be sitting down inside of the backbone and a couple different dimension layouts 
whether we put spaces in between the batteries or leave the batteries as one long chunk. We got us a piece of steel for our backbone chassis. It is two inches wide by six inches wide. And 48 inches long or four foot long. We also got some metal for our front axle. It is three inches by inch and a half. Eighteen inches long. So the idea is our backbone chassis is six inches wide. We want our axle to go through it and have about six inches hanging off of each side. And that way it'll be six inches, six inches, and six inches. And then for our rear axle, or rear axle housing, we have a piece of an inch and, a little over inch and three fourths metal tubing that we're gonna use for our rear axle housing. We're gonna run our axle right through it will be set up kind of like this. We have oh yeah, cooperative, huh? We're gonna have about four inches sticking off of each side. Because the rear wheels are bigger than the front wheels. Seems to be about proportionate. And then we're gonna have it about six inches from the front so we'll have what is like kind of like a nose cone that gives you a rough idea of where we're going and this is how our batteries will be set up within the main backbone of our cart as I said we'll have about an inch on each side I'll cut it out so the batteries sit down in it. So you only have about that much of the battery sticking up. And then on each end of our axle housing, we're gonna have a piece of this two and a half inch, eighth inch steel, capping each end off. And we'll have the bearing right here on each end and have the trailing arms here kick in a little bit and welded back to the backbone chassis. 